Now to a big event aiming to provide big resources and big hope. The world's biggest summit focused on a genetic condition that causes tumors to grow on nerves about to happen in San Antonio. The short name for that condition is NF, and it affects one in about every 2,000 people. All those patients are born with that condition, but some don't know, show symptoms until they're young adults. Courtney Friedman tells us more about the condition and what this summit in SA means. At six months old, Krista Comfort was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis, or NF. It's a genetic tumor condition, but it's not cancer. It causes tumors to grow on the nerves throughout the body, and because they can grow anywhere, there can be a wide range of complications. Depending on where the tumors are, they can cause loss of vision and hearing, severe pain, and mobility problems. Comfort has two tumors on her optic nerves, some on her spinal cord, and one in the skin on the left side of her neck. There has been little they've been, they've been able to do because it's so invasive in the skin that it would require years of surgery. The condition comes with a stigma. We're scared to ask you, you know, what's happened, and that's why I get involved, you know, in the summit. Comfort is a board member of the Children's Tumor Foundation's Texas chapter and is organizing the world's largest NF patient summit right here in San Antonio this Thursday through Saturday. You find out that you're not alone and that there's so many people like you you know, going through the same things. You get to connect with physicians, researchers, and there's so many great clinical trials going on that were a blip on the radar 10 years ago. In 2020, the FDA approved the very first drug to treat NF. We have now two drugs that are in phase three, which is the last phase before you go to the, uh, to the approval. And there is a about 60-ish drugs now in the clinical pipeline. Children's Which Tumor Foundation president Annette Bacher started in cancer research and recognized the intersect with conditions like NF. Now she's trying to bridge the gap and find cancer treatments that could work for NF and vice versa. We are convinced that patients are partners in research. She includes patients in trial designs, which is why there are so many more participants than other rare disease trials. Now she just needs pharmaceutical companies and investors to jump on board. The research that's been being done today gives me so much hope that you know, if we can't find a cure, we'll at least be able to keep this condition stable in my lifetime. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. The NF Summit Thursday through Saturday at the Hyatt Regency on the Riverwalk. We have a link to register on KSAT.com. Just find this story.